Hello everyone and welcome to this new section. In this section, we're going to discuss um, again a famous classification algorithm which is called K nearest neighbors or KNN. All right. The name might look a little bit intimidating, but trust me, it's actually a very, very simple algorithm, very intuitive. And in this lecture, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through kind of a practical example just to, look, to take a look at the K nearest neighbor intuition first. And then in the next lecture, we're going to right away dig a little bit deeper into a practical project. And afterwards, we're going to have an additional project where we're going to apply the K nearest neighbor to uh, classify um, data sets. All right. Okay, let's get started. So K nearest neighbor algorithm is a classification algorithm. All right. So think of it as maybe as the logistic regression classification. All right. So we're expecting the output to be categorical or to be binary. So either let's say size, small, medium, and large. Let's say, you know, you're healthy or sick. Let's say you're going to pass or fail and so on. That's kind of the idea or the expected output when we apply the Kanye's neighbors. KNN works by finding the most similar data points in the training data and attempt to make an educated guess based on their classification. All right. I know it might look, you know, what, what are you talking about? <clears throat> Let's take a look at an example and that will, uh, will be very clear afterwards. Let's assume that we have here on the x-axis our weight. Okay. And here on the y-axis, we have the height in centimeters. So let's assume that we have, for example, um, like, a, uh, like a clothing store. And we wanted to kind of guess the size of the t-shirt for any customer, either categorized as large size L or small size S. All right. Okay. So the customer we're going to walk in, let's say in the store, and what we're going to do, we're going to ask the customers to provide us with their weight in kilograms, which is the first feature. And the second um, feature, which is going to be height in centimeters. All right. So these are kind of the inputs to the algorithm. And the algorithm should predict whether we want it to give him or provide the customer with either size large, okay, which is these data points here shown in red, or if we're going to provide them with size small, which is all these blue points in here, which is kind of, you know, this small t-shirt in there. Again, let's recap what we have said so far. So again, we want to kind of to develop a feature. All right. And let's say in store feature where the customer we're going to walk in, provide us with their two features, their weight in kilograms and their height in centimeters. And what we're going to predict for them, we're going to tell them, you know what? we're going to give you either size small or size large based on it. Okay. Based on the features that you guys provided us based on their weight and based on your height. All right. Again, it's very simple. Okay. So the question is, these are the data points we actually collected in practice. So we actually had customers in the past and we know we realize, well, if the customer, let's say is 60 kilograms and let's say his height is 165 centimeters, then most likely they will take size small. If the customer, let's say, is 75 kilograms or maybe 80 kilograms and their height is, let's say, 170 centimeters, well, their size most likely will going to be large. All right. These are kind of the data points that we have collected so far. And now to the fun part, now to the major question. Let's assume that I have this new data point in here. Which class should I belong to? Should I give him them small or should I give them large? And again, that's kind of the, you know, the answer or the question that the k-nearest neighbor should answer for us, all right? So let's take a look at how k-nearest neighbor, we're going to classify a new point that maybe belong to the small class or to belong to the large class. All right, let's take a look. So here is the algorithm steps for the k-nearest neighbor. Okay, I'm going to walk you through it really quick, and then I'm going to see how can we apply it in practice right away. First of all, we select a value for k. So k might be an integer number, 1, 2, 3, up to 10. Second step, we're going to calculate the Euclidean distance between the point to be classified, which is simply our this point, and with the neighboring points, let's say a couple of these points, one, two, three, four, some of these points, depending on what's the size of k did we select. If k, let's say, was four, we're going to select the four closest points, the four nearest points. All right, that's the second step. What do you mean by Euclidean distance? I actually have 
an entire slide here that talks about it. Don't worry about it right now. We're just going to walk you through the algorithm steps. And then we're going to see the Euclidean distance afterwards. Third step is that we're going to pick the k closest data points, which points with the k smallest distances. So again, what we're going to do, we're going to have our data points in here. We're going to select the k, which is how many points around us. And then we're going to calculate the Euclidean distance between all these points. And then we're going to select the k closest points. What are the closest points to this point? And what we're going to do afterwards, we're going to run a majority vote among selected data points. And let's say if three data points said you belong to large class and one data point said you belong to the small class, then we're going to select the large class. Then the majority wins. The dominating classification is the winner. And point is classified based on the dominant class. And then you repeat, basically. That's all what it is, or k-nearest neighbor in a nutshell. Let's assume that you didn't, you know, follow any of what I've said. Don't worry. Let's take a look at a practical example and, you know, see in practice what, how we're going to do this. All right. But before we do that, let's go ahead and review the Euclidean distance. Simply, if we have two points, point A, that has coordinates x1 and y1. Okay, so point A has coordinates x1 and y1. And we have another point, point B, that have, again, another coordinates x2 and y2. All right. The Euclidean distance simply is the square root of the difference between point x1 minus x2, or x2 minus x1 squared. You're going to square it anyway, so the order doesn't matter. Plus y2 minus y1 squared, and that will give us the Euclidean distance. All right. Again, this is kind of a measure of a distance between two points, simply. What's the objective? The objective is, once we calculate the Euclidean distance, then we can pick simply the shortest distance among all of them and that will gonna help us to classify newer data points to either that belong to class one or class two. All right, okay. Let's go ahead into practical example and let's take a look. Let's assume that we have here our table. So here we have our height in centimeters. So we have, let's say 158 centimeters, we have 160 centimeters, we keep going up till 170 centimeters. And here we have the weight in kilograms. So we start at 58 kilograms, 59, 63, and so on, up until we reach around 68 kilograms, all right? And let's assume that we have here, this, this is our class. This is our t-shirt size. And here we have only two class. Again, think of this table as inputs and outputs. We have the customer provided us in the past with their height and their weight. These are the two inputs to the algorithm. This is our output. This is our t-shirt size, which is again, belongs to one of two classes, either small size or either large size in here. All right. And again, these are basically this table so far in here. This is simply the data points that were plotted in here. We have a bunch of weights. We have a bunch of heights. We plotted the data points and red belongs to the large, blue belongs to the small size. Really simple. All right. Okay, now to the fun part. Now let's see how can we actually apply k nearest neighbors in practice. So what happened is <coughs> that you simply go ahead and let's assume that you have a new customer information. You have a new data point. Customer just walks in in a store and you ask the customer, could you please give me your height and could you please give me your weight? So the customer provided you with a height of 161 centimeters and of weight of 61 kilograms, all right? And what you, what's your goal is to say, okay, you know what? Should I give him size small or should I give him size large? That's the overall, you know, problem statement. And what we're going to do is that we're going to assume that we have K equals to five, all right? So what we're going to do, we're gonna say, you know what? Let's go ahead, take this data point and let's calculate the Euclidean distance among all the data points. So we're gonna go ahead Again, go back here, apply the rule. Let's get the distance between this point, which is the data point that I wanted to classify, but I don't know which class it belongs to. Calculate the Euclidean distance between this point and this point, and then Euclidean distance between this point and this point, Euclidean distance between this point and this point, and so on and so forth between all these points. Okay, all right. Okay, looks good. And then next step, you're going to determine, okay, which one is the shortest, shortest distance, which means the closest point. 
So you went into to that table, you find, you know what, this is the shortest one. So this one has the highest kind of, you know, the shortest distance. So we're going to give it a, like, a, like a vote, let's say, of, you know, this is the first one. This is the closest point, right? Okay. When is this, what is the second one? This is the second one because the distance was two. So this we're going to be in the point number two. All right. This is number three because it's 2.236. And well, we have actually another point that has the exact same distance to it. So we're going to give it as well, let's say, uh, class or position three. And then last one was this distance, which is 3.16. And that will be have kind of, you know, let's say level five. So now we have level one, two, three, and three, which is kind of repeated. And that's why we didn't put four. And then we have vote number five here. All right. Okay. That's great. So first of all, why did we pick five? Why we didn't keep going and maybe order them, you know, all the data points? Why? Because we selected k equals five. And that's why it's called k nearest neighbors. We're not looking for all the data points. We're looking for a certain number, integer numbers, let's say of five. That's why here you selected the first five shortest distances. All right. And that's it. And that's pretty much what you do. Okay. So the question is, okay, where's the class? How did we classify? Well, you go in here, you see how many points out of the neighbors that you picked are small and how many points here are large, were classified previously as small or large. And then you do what we call the majority vote. Well, if four said you belong to the small size and one said you belong to the large size, well, small wins. So the new customer or the new data points that the customer provided here should belong to the small class. It's really intuitive, very simple. And that's pretty much how k nearest neighbors work in practice. All right. Again, what we do, we come up with a new data point. All right. We compare the data point. All right. We calculate the Euclidean distance between this point and all the points we have here. We pick the first shortest five and then we see which one belongs to who. Well, if more small points or more points collect, uh, belongs to the small class, well, this point is classified as small. If large is more, well, this point classifies as large. And that's pretty much it. And that's pretty much the summary that we had here, which is we select the value for K. We calculate the Euclidean distance, pick the K closest data points. Here we had five data points. We run a majority vote among all the data points and the dominating classification wins, is a winner. Point is classified, ba classified based on the dominant class. All right, okay. Let's assume that you even didn't follow what I've just said so far. That's fine. That's okay. What we're going to do here, we're going to, let's visualize it. Let's take a look at what I've just exactly said, but in a visual representation. Let's assume that we plotted our data points. So again, this is, these are the training data points. So we have size large. Again, if you have, let's say weight of 70 kilograms, you have height of, let's say 170, you most likely are going to take size large t-shirt. If you have here, let's say 55 kilograms of height of 160, then the size here is gonna be small, all right? What about this new data point? Data point, does it, should it belong to the small category or should it belong to the large category? So the first step is gonna say, you know what, let's first select how many K. So let's assume we're gonna select five, K equals five. And then, so these are the five data points, one, two, three, four, five, the five closest points, okay? Second step, we're going to select the or calculate the Euclidean distance between all of them. All right. And then afterwards, we're going to do majority vote. Well, four of them belong to the small class and one of them belong to the large class. Well, this point then we're going to be classified as blue or as S size because the majority vote, four of them were blue and one of them was red. And that's pretty much K nearest neighbor in a nutshell. All right, and that's pretty much all what I have for this lecture. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's go back and recap what we have done so far in this lecture. We'll just walk you through a quick example of, uh, of the intuition for the K nearest neighbor. And we simply showed how can, using the training data set, we can classify newer points as either belong to, the, uh, to one of these two classes. And that's kind of a summary of the algorithm. We select the value for K, uh, value for K. We can pick whatever number. Calculate the Euclidean distance, which is simply this distance, okay, x, x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus 1 square under the square root. Afterwards, you pick the k closest data points and then you run a majority vote 
and then the dominating classification wins and point is classified based on the dominant class and then you repeat right and we took a look at a quick example and we actually took a look at a quick example as well visually again you go here you pick five closest points let's say if the k equals five you collect you measure the euclidean distance you pick the you run a majority vote and here you go if these points are blue then this new point will going to be classified as blue and that's pretty much all what i have for this lecture and in the next lecture i'm going to walk you through a practical example we're going to actually implement the exact same project in practice i hope you guys enjoyed this lecture and see you in the next one